What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because the brand new Trap Trick Structure Deck just came out here in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG and this Structure Deck is absolutely insane. It has some crazy reprints and not only that but it makes Trap Trick such a strong and viable strategy in today's format which is absolutely insane. In today's video we're going to be doing a little Structure Deck opening as well as a $30 three structure deck is all you need deck profile and i'll be showing off a quick combo at the end of the video as well so this may be a longer video but you guys are going to get an opening you guys are going to get a full 30 dollar budget deck profile and then you guys are also going to get a combo at the end of the deck profile which is absolutely insane so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff on top of that we do a full 10 videos a week five long form videos as well as five shorts so you guys are going to get a ton of content so many different kinds of content you guys need to be subscribed to stay tuned in to see all of it but with that being said i don't want to take up too much of your time let's get right into the deck profile or the opening or whatever i do first you guys are gonna see it all so right here we have the brand new beware of trap tricks structure deck and i think this structure deck is absolutely insane i don't want to give away what's in the back of it because like some of the cards that are in here the reprints are absolutely crazy but just before we do get into the opening i do want to say one thing i found really cool and it may go unnoticed to a lot of people is that they actually included the Yu-Gi-Oh card game 25th anniversary logo over here which is absolutely really cool it's the first product i believe we've seen with this logo i don't believe uh, photon hypernova which technically came out in the year of 2023 that didn't have this on it which now that i think about it it would have been kind of cool but it's really cool that this is on it just something that's kind of cool i mean i know it's not really important to the structure deck or anything but it's a really cool like i not gimmick i want to say but you know it's a really cool thing that they decided to add so let's get right into this i'm really excited to get into this because i think this deck now is absolutely insane they've given some crazy support to this deck i'm going to be showing you guys the deck profile of course which just three of these structure decks in today's video you guys can see we're starting off with the very first ultra rare let's get right into it i'm super excited did they take away the peel tabs no the peel tab is right over here let's open it right up and we'll see the contents of this structure deck all right so right over here we're starting off with the trap trick Pudica. Pudica? Put, uh, am I saying that right? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Also, I find that it's kind of hard to capture the ultra rare on this but one of the ultra rares one of the brand new cards this card is absolutely insane trap trip garden as well i don't like that they didn't name it trap trick garden but i mean it's fine it's always going to be a searchable card in the deck anyways but it's just one of those really cool cards i feel like the name would have been nicer if it was trap trick but anyways we got the trap trip garden another absolutely powerful card trap tantalizing tune man these names are kind of crazy trap tantalizing tune over here this card is absolutely insane one of the ultra rares of course the new rank four monster trap tricks pingu Kula. This card is also really cool. Also, my bad if I'm butchering these names, guys. I'm bad with these plant names. It's definitely a card that you're going to be playing in the deck, right? And then here, another brand new Link 2 Trap Tricks Adipus. This card is actually pretty cool as well. This is something that you definitely are going to be playing in the deck. I know I'm not explaining the cards right now. I'm going to explain them when we get into the deck profile. I just don't want to spend too much time doing the opening, right? So I'll explain a lot of these cards, what they do, and why we play them in the deck profile. So we have the one Adipus here. And then this is another cool card Trap Tricks Arancoma. Guys, I suck at these names. Trap Tricks Arancoma. Ren Co Camp. Uh, something like that anyways we're gonna kick this out of here because this card's really cool now here here is one of the craziest reprints super rare evenly matched i really like that they gave it the super rare treatment here they didn't just give it a common which is absolutely crazy evenly matched is an insane card in today's format and in general this is a staple card that i think everyone should have and the fact that it's now available in a structure deck is absolutely insane so we have a super rare evenly matched here which is really cool we have trap tricks holuti which is by the way an insane card in this deck so you definitely want to be playing three of this i'm gonna be honest with you you're gonna be playing three of this this card is absolutely insane and then here i believe we have a lot of the trap trick cards so all these cards outside of the evenly match over here were all new cards I, I don't know this is kind of insane that they gave it to us but let's get into the deck now because there's a lot of reprints in here of course you get a tracks mermelio all the staple ones nephthys theonia we got Janalisa, which is kind of like a newer one. Vesiculu is also a newer one. Godarla is an insane reprint in here. Anytime you're getting Kaijus in a structure deck, it's a really good reprint. You got Cumungus, Retaliating Sea, Resonance Insect. I believe the next... Lone Fire is actually a really cool one. I believe the next... You Oh, there we go. That's what I was just about to talk about because I knew this card was in here. We have yet another Ash Blossom reprint as a common, which is absolutely insane. This card, of course, the more reprints, the better. I know people are going to say, oh, this card's getting reprinted way too much, but this this is a staple that every Yu-Gi-Oh player should own and the fact that it's in a structure deck again is absolutely insane also i don't know if you guys can tell but these cards are not centered at all properly this is an absolutely crazy reprint again
again, you can never complain about staple reprints. We got Rose Lover, Sage de Fleur, Mech Knight, Purple Nightfall, as well as Blue Sky are in here. I already knew the Blue Sky was in here, which is absolutely insane. Getting two Mech Knights, also the two best Mech Knights in my opinion, in a structure deck is really, really powerful. Moral Attack over here is another cool card. I know Scythe just got banned, but Moral Attack is a really cool card because you guys are going to see another card that's in here. If you guys don't already know, that's absolutely insane. It's an insane reprint. You got Fire Hand and Ice Hand as well here, which is really nice. We have Thunder Hand. I completely forgot about that card. And we got right Geki right over here. I believe the next card should be, yes, it's the Harpy's Feather Duster. Look at this. These are absolutely crazy. The, the structure deck is insane. Evenly matched, Ash Blossom, right Geki, Harpy's Feather Duster, all very viable, very staple cards that you need in any format, really. The fact that right Geki's back at three, right Geki's actually really good right now in today's format. So the fact that we get right Geki, we get Harpy's Feather Duster, like these reprints are insane. This, I believe, is also another new card. I don't believe this was printed anywhere else before. This card is really powerful. So uh, you're definitely going to be playing this card. Then you get the OG Trap Hole, of course, Bottomless Trap Hole, which is really nice. Uh, we get two Bottomless Trap Hole. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I believe there should be a Floodgate Trap Hole in here as well, which would be really nice. Trap Chicks Trap Hole Nightmare. Two of those. Two Floodgate Trap Hole. Oh, only one Floodgate. Oh, interesting. I was expecting two right there. I don't know why I said two. I felt it's because we saw two of everything. We got the Grave Digger Trap Hole. Trap Trick in here is really, really nice. It's a really good reprint. Shade Brigadine is nice. Sanctum. This is a card that I was talking about. Of course, we don't have Scythe anymore, but Sanctum and Tomorrow Attack is still a very viable option. The Sharia Sacred Tree. And then we have some of the other reprints. We have Reflesia, Staple Card, Alomaris, Kalaria, and then Trap Tricks, Sarah as a common. Oh, and Mantis, which I forgot over here. And we have these two little code cards. Sarah and Mantis over here, really cool cards. Again, just off-centered like crazy though. But uh, yeah, th these cards are really cool. And bro, like this, this structure deck is insane. And this deck is really, really cool. So let's get right into the deck profile. Also, just a quick side note, I realized I completely forgot to show you guys this playmat. Here is the paper playmat that you get. This would really be nice on a uh, plastic playmat or uh, not plastic, what do you call this material? Rubber, rubber playmat. But uh, here is the playmat that you guys can get. It's, it's actually really nice artwork. So yeah, I just want to show that off. All right, so for this deck profile, two things I'm going to say first. It's a 40 card main deck. The second thing I'm going to say is I know they're not sleeved. Don't flame me, guys. I'm not going to sleeve these up until I put the full deck profile together. So uh, for this one, for the $30 budget, you guys are going to see a main deck, a side deck, as well as an extra deck. You guys are even going to get a side deck. That's how good the structure deck is. Don't flame me for no sleeves. All right, let's get things started with two of the brand new Trap Tricks Pudica. I'm going to explain this card real quick. So this card is absolutely insane. First of all, all these cards have the same effect where they're unaffected by the effects of whole normal traps, which is absolutely insane. But the really cool thing about this card is when it's normal summon, you can add the brand new field spell, which is Trap Trick Garden from your deck to your hand. And then if it's special summon, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls and then banish that target, which is really nice. So Pudica is really good. It's a very good normal summon for you because it gets you to your field spell. So that's obviously really important. The next card here is we are playing three of the brand new Trap Trick Arachno Campa. I actually think I said the name right there. That was actually pretty good. But we're playing three of this. This card is absolutely insane. It's an extender for you. The reason we're also playing three is because it's another level four insect monster which is really relevant for another card that you guys are playing in the main deck but this card is also really cool because if you control a trap trick monster you can just special summon this card from your hand it locks you into insect and plant type monsters from the extra deck but because this is a 30 dollar version all the monsters in your extra deck are plants and insects so this is never a problem right so we're playing three of the best extender in the deck it's just a free special summon for you lets you go into your rank fours into your link plays this card is absolutely insane then for the old trap trick monsters we're playing three mantis you can add a trap tricks monster from your deck to your hand just by normal summoning this so this card is really good. The next card is three Trap Tricks Mermelio. It lets you add a Trap Hole card from your deck to your hand. Or did I say Trap Hole? It just adds a Hole card. Most of the Hole cards are Trap Hole anyways. But yeah, three Mermelio, of course, another really powerful normal summon. And we're only playing two Dionia. So the only reason we're playing two is because this card, while it is a pretty decent normal summon, it summons another Trap Trick monster from your graveyard back. It doesn't actually do anything or start any plays on its own. So the only reason we're playing two is because we really want to use it for its special summon effect, which is essentially going to help you recover your Trap cards from your graveyard, which is really nice. So that's why I'm only playing the two Dionia. And then to round off the monsters, we're playing, of course, three Ash. We have three Ash. This card is absolutely insane. You have to be playing three Ash. So that's it for the monster count. I wouldn't change these up at all. I think this is the most consistent monster count. Keep in mind, we're playing this deck for this February 2023 format. So if you guys are watching this in like a few years or whatever, that might change, obviously, because depending on what the format goes into or how it changes. But for this format specifically, you really want to be playing this monster count because it's just very, very consistent.
Next up for the spells, we're not playing too many spells. We are really, of course, focused over here on the traps, but we're not playing too many spells here, but we are playing very important spells. The first thing we're playing is two of the Trap Trip Garden. Just to explain this card, it's absolutely insane. So Trap Trip Garden has the effect where during your main phase, you can normal summon a Trap Tricks monster in addition to your normal summoner set. So the fact that this gives you a free normal summon is absolutely insane. And then it has another effect that protects your monsters by battle, which is kind of nice. The other main effect that you're going to be using, though, that's really powerful outside of the extra normal summon is that you can banish a monster that you control and you can special summon up trap trick monsters from your hand or your graveyard which is really nice because it helps you get some of the trap trick special summon effects which are really really powerful so we're playing two of the garden next we're playing three of the trap tantalizing tune this card honestly in its own is not that great there are obviously better options but for this 30 dollars structure deck build it is very very powerful it's pretty much your draw power for the deck which this deck otherwise doesn't have you can discard a level four insect or plant monster or you can discard a normal trap and draw two cards so it's kind of like a trade-in for the deck which is really really nice and again we're playing so many monsters in this that it's really easy to get this off it's never an issue and then on top of that you can also discard some of your traps which is really nice there's another trap that works really well with this which i'll explain when we get into the traps but yeah trap uh tantalizing tune oh my god that's a crazy name but this card is also really good in this build and then lastly we're playing three Raigeki as well as one harpy's feather duster i don't think there's a reason you would ever not be playing this in today's format Raigeki is really good into kashtara you really need this card it's good into branded it's good into a lot of those decks as well so having a board breaker especially because going second this deck can struggle having these board breakers over here is really powerful moving on to the trap cards here we are of course playing three trap trick it's going to search you any of the trap cards that you guys are playing that you guys are about to see so you definitely want to be playing three of this it's obviously consistency for you three floodgate trap hole this card doesn't need too much explaining but in today's format this card is absolutely insane being able to flip your opponent's cost monsters face down is absolutely crazy in today's format in general this card is really good but putting your opponent's monsters in defense is really really powerful and then we're playing two bottomless two grave diggers these two of course are searchable off trap trick which is why we're playing two and two bottomless and grave diggers are really good in their own own right grave diggers is really good especially going into time because it burns your opponent for 2000 damage so this card is really really powerful so yeah i would definitely recommend playing two and two next we're playing three of the brand new trap tricks holtea or holutia i don't know if i'm saying that right but this card is absolutely insane in its own as well so you can activate it the turn it's set by discarding a normal trap so of course this is going to act as an extender for you the really nice thing about this is it has some pretty big defense and it's not treated as a trap card which is also really nice it's treated as a monster card but the other effect that's really powerful is that you can banish it from your graveyard and then target a trap trick monster in your graveyard and then you can special summon that card so why holutia is really powerful or holtia again i'm butchering these names but why this is really powerful at three is because you can discard it off of something like your trap tantalizing you can draw two cards and then you can get the holtia to special something back from your graveyard which is really nice right so it's going to trigger some of your special summon effects which is really really powerful and then lastly we're playing two terrifying trap hole nightmare i honestly don't know if this is a new card or not but this card is pretty cool i think it's a new card i, I don't know i feel like they would have made it a super right so maybe it's not a new card I've never seen it before. This is my first time seeing it, but this card is really powerful. So if your opponent has a special summon monster this turn, you can target that monster with 2,000 or more attack and destroy it. So that's really powerful. It's just a free destruction for you. Also, you're playing two, so you can get it off trap trick when you need. But then the other effect is if you have a whole trap card in the graveyard when you use this effect, you can banish that monster from your opponent's graveyard. So essentially, you destroy it and then you can banish it, which is really nice. And that's why we're playing the two. So that's it for the main deck. It is a 40 card main deck. It's very consistent. The fact that they gave this deck some in deck draw power is really, really nice. It makes it so that you don't have to pay for cards like Prospect prosperity and whatnot so that's it for the 40 card main deck i wouldn't change it at all i think it's really powerful for today's format Moving on to the extra deck here, this structure deck gave us a lot of extra deck cards and the most important extra deck cards, which is really, really nice. So first thing we're doing is starting off with three of the brand new Trap Tricks Adipus or AT. Yeah, I think I said that right. Adipus, right? I don't know. Anyways, this card is absolutely insane. So it's a link three monster over here. This card is also really good because it puts all of your Trap Trick monsters a thousand attack extra, which is insane because it helps you push for a lot of damage that this deck otherwise didn't have. And the other really cool effect is you can target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of plant and insect monsters you control and then negate those effects and then you can banish a normal trap card from your graveyard and then destroy one of those cards that you negated so this card is really good because it's removal for you it's negation for you and it's attack boost for you which is really nice then of course we're playing three trap trick sarah we have to be playing three sarah it's the best link one monster i mean this card is just absolutely insane so you have to be playing three of this we're playing one of the calaria this card is not as good as the other ones but you still want to play the one that comes up here and there and then we're playing three refugia of course this gets you to any of your trap cards obviously one of the staples in the deck then we're playing three of the brand new pingulukia and 
then uh, we're playing two Elamares. I'm going to put the Elamares over here. This is an older card. We're playing two of this. But I want to talk about the Pingulera just a little bit over here. Also, I feel like really cringe moving these cards without a, a sleeves. Maybe I should put sleeves on these. But anyways, this card is really powerful. While it has a material, it's unaffected by trap cards. And then it has a really cool effect where you can detach a material from this card, add a trap trick monster from your deck to your hand. So it searches a card, which is really nice. And then if a monster owned by your opponent is sent to the graveyard or banished, again, this triggers off of some of the trap cards that you guys have. You can attach that monster to this card. So essentially, even though you're detaching to search, this card is always going to put materials back on it so it can stay unaffected and it helps synergize with a lot of the trap cards you guys are playing. So that's it for the 15 card extra deck. I mean, this is all you really need. This is what the uh, structure decks give you. And it's really powerful though. Low key, it's really powerful. Yes, you're missing out on, on some link monsters, but these in general are, are pretty strong. So uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy. This extra deck is insane. So let's move on to the side deck and you guys are going to see how good the side deck is. So lastly, for the side deck over here, of course, we're focused on cards that are going to help us go second and break boards. We're playing three Cumongous as well as three Gadarla. This is going to really help us in the Koshtara matchup, but any matchup in general where monsters are being put up that are pretty hard to out, these cards will always out them. On top of that, it puts a monster on your side of the board, and this low-key synergizes because they're all insects, which is kind of nice, but the really nice thing is if you open two Kaijus, you can special summon one to your opponent's side of the field, special will summon one to yours, and then now you have a free beater, so it's kind of like an extender in that sense. Then we're playing the two Moral Tech and three Artifact Sanctum. Moral Tech is a really nice card when you're going first, or Sanctum, I should say, is a really nice card going first because it gives you another form of disruption with the Moral Tech and it gives you a big body on the board, which is really nice. And then lastly, for the last three cards, or okay, we're playing one bottomless because this side deck was 14 and I just put this as the 15th card. But one of the most important cards here is the three evenly matched. Of course, we're not playing this in the main deck. I'm deciding to play Margeki in the main deck over evenly matched. The reason for that is because Margeki can be used in any point of the duel. So you really want to go first with this deck, right? Keep that in mind. You really want to go first. So if you're going first and setting up a board and you have Regeki in hand, you can still use the Regeki on your following turn, where something like evenly matched, if you want to go first and then you have the evenly matched, it doesn't really do much for you. I think this card is better in the side deck, where if you're going into games two and games three and you know you're going second, evenly matched is very powerful against that. So this is it for the side deck. Very powerful. The fact that this structure deck gives you a full side deck is insane. All right, so let's get started with this very simple two card combo. There's a lot of combos this deck has, but let me show you guys this very simple two card combo. It's a very powerful combo in its own. Also, Field Center provided by Smart Cards TCG. If you guys want a link, it is in the description below. You guys can get 10% off using my code. Metal Field Centers, but they're not just Field Centers. They're Smart Field Centers. You can connect it to any website, anything that you guys want to connect it to. All you need is one tap of the phone, and then it's going to send you to where that website is. I don't have my other phone on me, so I, I can't show you guys. But this is really cool. Obviously, lots of other designs. Check it out. Link is in the description. Let's get right into the combo. Very simplistic combo. Two cards right over here. You're going to start off by summoning the brand new Trap Tricks Paducah. This card is absolutely insane because it's going to get to search your Trap Tricks Garden over here. You're going to get to activate your Trap Tricks Garden. This is going to give you an extra normal summon later. But what you're going to do is you're going to link summon this Paducah, which is going to be sent to the graveyard. So let's say this is a graveyard. And then you're going to be able to summon your Sarah. All right. Then you get an extra normal summon. So let's normal summon our Mermelio over here and activate the Mermelio effect to search a trap hole from our deck to our hand. At this point, you can search any trap hole card. Keep in mind, this is just a two card combo so there's going to be three other cards in your hand so if you have other three traps then you just basically search what you're missing in this case you can search like literally anyone let's just search the floodgate trap hole it doesn't really matter because we activated a trap trick monster effect you're going to get to activate the sarah effect which is going to let you set a whole card from your deck directly to your side of the field so in this case we're going to set our whole taya and we're going to be able to set it all right so this is our graveyard this is our field right now because of the whole taya effect we can actually activate it right away pitching a card from our hand and then we get to special summon it because a trap trick monster was now special summoned sarah will now trigger the other effect which is going to let you special summon a trap trick monster from your deck and we're going to special summon our Dionia. all right Dionia will now trigger because it was special summoned to set the trap hole card from our graveyard so whichever one you search whichever one you pitch you can now reset it from your graveyard which is really nice then what you can do is you can use the whole Taya and the mermelio to ixi summon and summon your brand new trap tricks pingulcula okay listen i can't say the names but the new rank four monster we're going to get to activate its effect to detach a card and search a trap trick monster from our deck to our hand at this point you can search literally for any trap trick monster whatever you guys feel is best you can even search the uh, arancopia because now you're going to get an extra special summon over here because you control a trap trick monster you can activate its effect to summon it and then now once it's summoned you can overlay these two as well to now summon your reflegia all right so now what you're going to do with this simple two card combo is you're going to have reflegia which is going to act as any trap hole card from your deck you have the floodgate trap hole or whatever trap hole card here that you search you have the pedunculus as well as you have the sarah so the really cool thing about this board on top of all of that 
that is that you have the whole tail which is in your graveyard and you can banish it the special summon a trap monster from your graveyard in your following turn so you have follow-up you have disruption you have another disruption and you would still have three cards in your hand so keep that in mind because those three cards can be more traps which can be more disruption to end on your turn like that which is just absolutely insane so that's just a two card combo now that i think about it though just looking at this board here maybe floodgate's not the best one to search in this case honestly the best one to search would actually probably be your bottomless or your terrifying trap hole the reason for that is because uh if you use these two with this on the board this is gonna get to trigger and gonna get to attach it as a material so uh maybe these two are probably better to search it depends on the matchup of course but if you search these two then you'll actually get her second effect but that's just something i wanted to talk about as well again keep in mind you still have three cards in your hand so if you already have one of these in your hand then you can search the floodgate if you have the floodgate you search one of these whatever you have whatever you need you're always going to be able to get to it so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i really wanted to showcase this structure deck in its entirety i think the structure deck is insane and then i really wanted to show you guys how you can build this deck at a competitive level using only three structure decks which is absolutely crazy and i hope you guys enjoyed the combo as well if you did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos a week deck profiles combo videos dual videos all that good stuff as well as some shorts so you guys are going to get a ton of different kinds of content now if you guys want to see a full power version of this deck let me know in the comment section down below and i will get that out for you guys thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that spanko signing out peace